So after this video, I can't decide whether I'm taking a break from the Hobbit series, but here we go. We're going to start with the first one, The Unexpected, The Hobbit, An Unexpected Journey. I didn't like it. Um, yeah, this one is not good, and I feel like some people are really going to disagree with me uh, uh, compared to the rest of the series, but yeah, this one's not good at all. Uh, don't get me wrong, it still has great aspects. Uh, the musical the musical score, once again, is fantastic. Um, in fact, I think it's gotten even better uh, as each movie goes along. And so from Return of the King, because this one was made after Return of the King, even though it's a prequel, um, the score is a lot better. A lot of people think prequels are just naturally worse. I don't believe that, especially this one, right? Because... The problem with the Star Wars prequels is you know how it's gonna end, but that's not the problem with those movies. Like, you can, there's still ways to make them good because it isn't about this where where it's gonna end. It's about it's about the journey there with the characters and stuff, and you know it's just not worth it when you watch those Star Wars prequels. But like, I, just like think about Lord of the Rings. That is a story. That you know how it's going to end. They're going to destroy that ring. And just... And then everyone, you know... But you, you like watching those characters get to that point. And it's a great story. So The Hobbit actually has a troubled production history. They wanted to make this movie for a long time. Um, I guess I should go over my... Uh, like experience with the Hobbit because it is different from the Lord of the Rings um, movies. So and then I'll go into the production. But um, I I read the Hobbit uh, once in school. I rented it from the library. Did not like it. Uh, it was twenty pages of Bilbo explained about his house just bored the living snot out of me. At about ten or eight years old, so I went back to the library later on in life uh, I, was, I think it was middle school I rented the book again and I can't remember why but I liked the book this time it was fantastic um, it is I still think it's a little too long but it's alright you know uh, I've never seen the animated Hobbit I know there's an animated Hobbit movie that Rankin Bass made that's pretty popular the reason I've never seen it is I think I owned the DVD and it just looked ugly. Like if you look at that old DVD cover, it looks ugly. It looks weird. I, I don't know how you would make that movie look good because it is kind of an ugly or weirder design. But at just how young I was when I had that DVD, I was like, eh. And I think it was given to me for free. Um, now if I ever got a chance to watch it, I'd probably watch it. But... Uh, I think I'm just waiting for the Blu-rays of uh, a Blu-ray to come out, and then you get like Blu-rays of the uh, animated Lord of the Rings movies, the two that there are, and then I'll probably do reviews of those whenever those come out. I'd love to talk about those and watch all those, but yeah, it's just kind of my experience with the Hobbit. Um, so, anyways, originally the Hobbit they were not supposed to. Peter Jackson was not going to direct these ones. He did not want to. Um, and, uh, Guillermo del Toro was going to do it, and then there was all kinds of on outs between the studio and him, and they just, it didn't work out. So they didn't make it. And it's weird, because Guillermo del Toro still has a writing credit. In fact, there's a little too many people credited for the screenplay, because this movie has some serious tonal issues. And I think it's because of the screenplay and how many writers are attached to this, um, it is, so I'll say this, when I was watching the first act, it was fantastic. They're setting up the world, the characters again, and you get, and all the dwarves, and once you get to that point where all the dwarves are entering his house, I'm like, yes, this is great, this is hilarious. Because you just got this hobbit here, who's very, he's never been on adventure, he's never left his house, he, he doesn't know anything outside the world around him, and all these dwarves are just showing up that he doesn't even know, and they're just like, they're all hey hey, and they're all talking about. They're all talking to each other. They're just ignoring him, and then he's trying to be all nice and kind about like kicking them out essentially. And they're all uh, you know, 
and it keeps going and it keeps escalating. It's really funny comedy. Um, I like that lighter tone with the pacing and the comedy in those scenes. And then, but then once you get to them starting going on an adventure, it slows down a bit. It's, it's all right. And then I would say about after the 45 minute mark, this movie just radically keeps changing in, in tone from scene to scene to scene to scene. And again, this Hobbit, the Hobbit movie, these are stretched to three movies and it feels that way. There is no reason that this needs to be three movies. If you know the Hobbit book, it is one book. It could have been one long movie that's all it needed to be. Maybe two. And I think they were going to originally make it two. Which I would have been okay with. But it is stretching it out to three. It's just like, why? And I, I, The tunnel issues bother me the most. Because it's like, I really got into that first act. And I wanted it to continue to be that. I thought it was going to be like... Because, you know, Lord of the Rings is very uh, dark. Um, not in a bad sense. Like, it's just that with the what's going on in those movies. It's the end of the world, you know. There, there's characters trying to stop the end of the world. That's what those movies are about. This is not about that. It's about a smaller adventure with these characters, and just it's just a little, it's a little, it's you know, it's simpler. It's more fun. I mean, because the original Hobbit was actually written to be a, a children's novel, um, and so yeah, it's a lighter tone than the Lord of the Rings books. It's not as dark. It's not as gray and stuff like that but you just i don't know and I, I don't feel like the effects are as good as this one either you see those orcs or or not orcs goblins i think yeah goblins they're ugly as sin and i, I mean they're supposed to look ugly but i feel like the effects around them there's just too much and it makes them look even worse than they're actually supposed to look it looks bad I don't even know how to explain it. It might just be a personal thing. I can't really say. Like, but I don't know. I feel like there's a little too much CG around them. And it just looks ugly and turns me off to the scene. I don't feel like the characters blend in well with the scenes as much as they do in the Lord of the Rings movies. Um, and there's not enough practical, practical effects. It's all CG. And, you know, part of what made the Lord of the Rings good is that the effects were like more practical and stuff um but i don't know i just i didn't care for it it was too long i watched the extended version and that's part of the reason why but i, th I don't i doubt the theatrical cut would be much better um it's three hours the extended version i think like this non-theatrical version is or the theatrical version is like a little over two hours but still, like, it's not that big of a difference. It is just ridiculous. And I don't care for this movie. Um, I'm not going to say I didn't like it. I guess there are some scenes I, like, are, I will remember and I do like. But I, I can say it's just a little... It's just the tonal issues just t turn me off from it. I don't... I'm glad I saw it, but I don't think I would ever watch it again. I, I say if you haven't seen this movie, watch it, because you'll like it if you like the Lord of the Rings movies. You'll probably end up liking it more than me, or you'll agree with me that you're like, I'm glad I saw it, but it's not that great. And I, I feel like that's the way I'm going to feel about this whole trilogy, but we'll see. Um, I think it's alright, though. So, yeah. Let me know your thoughts, like, share, subscribe, do all that.